Hey guys, so normally I skip the prep process for these videos, um, but a lot of you guys have been asking about our nail drill, the new portable handheld one. Um, so I just wanted to take a quick moment to kind of show you guys the actual thing in action. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move forward. We're gonna go ahead and apply our tip. We're gonna shape our nail. I'm of course gonna just leave it simple for this video. Um, so we're gonna leave it pretty much like a nice ballerina shape. Make sure that you guys prep your nail correctly and blend it in. Um, a lot of people have a tendency to not blend this area out and they kind of leave it uneven. Uh, that's going to give you a problem when you go apply your product because if you're not experienced on kind of prepping your nail correctly, chances are you're not experienced on how to apply acrylic correctly and working on an uneven surface is going to give you a super hard time. So pay attention to that. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my nude powder. I feel like you guys have watched me do this like a thousand times. So sometimes I feel like I should just skip this portion, but then I'm like, hmm, it'll be the day that, that one new follower watches and then they get confused. So I might as well just leave it in there. I'm going to uh, use some white acrylic for this part right here. Um, this is kind of like a pink and white ombre, but I'm not gonna ombre it out just because I'm gonna use this portion as snow. And um, I didn't want it to look too blended out because then I kind of felt like it wouldn't look like snow. So uh, I don't know if that makes sense. But anyway, I'm going to use a little bit of glitter. Not too much. Glitter is a good accent for a nail. I try not to make it the primary thing because when you add too much glitter, it's kind of hard to see all the other pretty and cool things you're adding on to the nail. Now I'm going to add these super cool beads. These things are a little tricky. They kind of stick together. Also, they're not white. I didn't use white pearls because I felt that if I did use the white pearls, you wouldn't really notice them on the actual white snow. They're actually, if you look really close, like a really light pink and a really light blue. But, to, you know, the naked eye, they're going to look white, which is cool. So if you notice when I go to encapsulate it, they don't actually blend into the background. And that's exactly what I wanted. I kind of wanted them to, you know, like be obviously that it's like snow and not just like some random white pebbles just sitting there behind you know christmas trees anyway moving forward we're going to encapsulate this and then we are going to file and buff um if you notice i actually shortened the nail it was just a little bit too long so i was like hmm let me just get it a little shorter kind of wasn't giving me the appearance of snow so i wanted to make it a little shorter i wanted it to be snowing i didn't want a full darn you know avalanche so i trimmed it shorter Finally, we're going to come in with our gel top coat. Try not to make a mess here. You want to make sure that when you're applying your gel top coat, you don't get it on the skin because it's going to dry into a crust and kind of like ruin the rest of the nail. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.